In this short video, I will show you how to use Assistant that you see at the top of the page when you log in to your Cognos Analytics account. The idea is to be able to ask questions in natural English language about your data. So you can, if you know exactly what you're looking at, you can type your question in here. Alternatively, you can expand the Assistant panel just by clicking on this icon at the top. First of all, what you need to do is you need to specify the data source. Otherwise, if you don't, it's going to attempt, it's going to search all data that you have access to in your content and in the team content in attempt to answer the question. So let's make our life a little bit easier. We're going to select the source. You click select source, then I'm going to click on my content. And for this example, I'm going to use claims on weather data module. The data tracks customer information, the vehicle that the customer drives, their insurance coverage, and information about the accident, including the total claim amount. So let's go ahead and do that and click open. Behind the scene, I'm running this command, load data, and here is the data module name, right? So sometimes I might not know the exact name of my data module. That's why I chose load data. At the top over here, it shows me which data I'm currently looking at, which is claims and weather data module. Here, I see my fields in the data. And for each field, I see the data type and some additional information. If the data, if the column values have an outlier, right? If it's a low value repetition, if it's monetary, if it's quantity, exactly. I can click on show more to see the rest of the columns here, right? Now, suppose that I'm interested in specific columns such as total claim amount. I'm going to click on this column. And what do I see here? I see the column usage information, the aggregation type. So aggregation tells you how the column is being summarized. By default, we're looking at the average. If I was going to look at total claim amount per state, perhaps, I would see the average, right? So now here are some fields that one might be interested, fields that are related to the total claim amount. For example, I can click on location code. This is equivalent to running this command, show chart, total claim amount and location code. So here is the chart. And on the right, I see the insights, top insights about this visualization, right? Over here, I can change the visualization type that are used. Like, for example, here, right? I switch to bar visualization, or I can switch to point visualization, right? And etc. I can I can play around with this. All right. At any time, if I want to look at different data source, I can click on change and select different data. Now. I mentioned earlier that you might ask questions in English language, right? But suppose we're not sure what we want to ask. No problem. We can type this command, suggest questions. When we do that, it's going to give us the recommended questions about our data. We can use it as a starting point, right? See this? For example, which effective to date has the top average total claim amount? Which location code? as a top total claim amount, et cetera. See this? What can impact average total claim amount? So I can click here, right? And it gives me a list of columns that can impact the average total claim amount. And again, I can click on the fields that I want to look at. For example, state, right? And I'm going to see the visualization. See this total, total average? This is the average claim amount by state, see? And I can choose, I can change my visualization type in here, et cetera, right? Well, behind the scene, it's typing the commands, right? So now I know some of the questions that can be asked. I can type similar questions, but and about different fields, right? Like, for example, I can do what impacts, and see here when I type it, it gives me some suggestions. 
I typed what impacts, and here it gives me suggestions of what I can look at what impacts based on that data, see? Like, for example, I can say what impacts months since last claim, and I can click on error to ask this question, and it's going to give me the answer of gender. I can click on gender to see visualization and etc. right? Then I can go back to this, and I can rerun the command. Like, for example, if I click on this suggest question, I'm going to rerun this command again. See here, I got my suggested questions again. Uh, here, I can do I can do another question. I can type compare, right? And then perhaps I want to compare uh, average total claim amount, and perhaps I want to do that by employment status, right? I can click here, and I'm going to see my visualizations for that. See, average claim amount. And it here it shows by employment status. And again, I see some, some top insights, right? All right. That was a short video on Assistant. In another video, I'll show you how to use Assistant in uh, data exploration. You can launch Assistant inside data exploration. And I'll show you how. See you in the next video.